Hello everybody. I have all my pieces out. I have my instruction book and we're going to build the MBOT. That's what it's going to look like when we're finished. And I'm going to flip to the first page. There we go. This is where we're starting. I need the chassis, which I have right here and the two motors and the two wheels. So I'm ready to go. The motor goes on with these little screws here. They've got a Phillips head on the end, so I need my special screwdriver that my robot came with. So I'm going to take, following these instructions, the first motor is going to go on this side. And the second motor will go on the opposite side. So they're both pointing the same way. We're going to get the connectors out of the way for now. And I'm going to pop these on with my handy little screws and these tiny little nuts that are going to keep the screws in place. There it is. So we're going to start with the first side, the first motor. I'm going to pop the screw in like this. And I need my nut on this side. And here we go. We're going to finish the last couple of screws here. Make sure they're good and tight. And our motors look like they are ready to go. We've got motors on both sides. We have the connectors ready. Next comes the wheels. The wheels look like this. They already have the tread on them, even though in the picture it looks like a separate part. It's already assembled in the box. So all I have to do is pop a wheel on each side right on the motor like this. And I'm going to find the right screw here, which I believe is this little baby tiny screw. Not very big at all. Pop that in there. And we're going to screw that in. This time I'm going to need my screwdriver flipped around because this one looks like it's a different connector head on it. So flip my screwdriver around. I'm going to screw that in like this. Oh, I think I was right the first time. Sometimes it's trial and error, guys. If it's got two ends, you try one end, and if that doesn't work, you try the other end. Here we go. Now I'm screwing that in. You can see that. And I'm ready for the other wheel, which is right here. Pop that one on. There we go. One more screw right here that in there and I'm gonna screw that in and that is page one of our instructions we have the motors and we have the wheels next it shows us using the this is where I need my second pair of eyes this is our um, mini wheel this is the third wheel which shows on the front and it looks like this so this is what I'm looking for. It's hard to see, but it's got a little spinny plastic piece on there. That's the third wheel. So I'm going to pop that on next. Make sure I have the right screws. And here it is all together. This is where it goes on the front of the little robot. And it takes these special kind of fat chubby screws right here. So I'm going to pop the screw in there. And we'll get it screwed on together. Try that again. Like this. It goes in the middle set of holes there. I've got three sets of holes. I need the middle set. And this goes right through there. Notice there's another little piece underneath. And I just noticed that before I started screwing. And that is this right here. In the book it calls it a... Milan follower sensor. This is a sensor. Line follower. You remember the Ozobots that would follow the black line? Apparently, this little guy is going to do the same thing. It's a line follower. So I'm going to pop that open. This is our sensor. Notice it's got a place for the connector right there. And this and this goes together to make that third wheel I was telling you about. So it's going to go like this. And we're just going to screw it on. 
And here it is. You can see the sensor and then the new wheel. I'm just going to tighten them up to make sure they're good and tight. And now our robot has all three of its wheels. It's got the two big wheels. And it's got this little guy in the back. And next on our book, you'll see it's the, let me tell you the right name. It's the ultrasonic sensor. It's right there. So I'm looking for that guy, which I believe is behind me. Here he is. Looks like a set of eyes. I'm going to pop that one open. And that one actually goes right above that one. You see, it kind of looks like a little smiley face. And this is going to make him look like he has what? What do you think? Does it look like a little face? Let's make sure we have the right screws for this guy. Okay, there's a little box right here that says tips. After assembly, make sure to take out all the wires through here. So we're going to make sure that all the wires on the bottom are coming up through that hole. So when we get to the controller, the brain, they'll be ready to be plugged in there. So I'm going to make sure both of those are coming through ready for that um, for that uh, next step when we get there. And then in the book it shows us we need these connectors. We need to add those and we're going to add these little brass studs that's going to hold the rest of the, the body above it there. So let me get those are right here. Let me get all that ready. And there he is. Just got to tighten the screws. Make sure he's good and tight here. Last couple of screws screwed in for the eyes, the sensor. What do you think the eyes on the front would do? What do you think? What kind of a sensor do you think those are? What do they look for? What do you think that um, the purpose of that sensor would be? Think about that. Next week when we start programming, you can tell me if you're right or not. There's his eyes, his little smiley face, and that third wheel down here. And there you have it. We've got the studs ready. We've got all the connectors ready. They're all pulled through the top. And our next page shows us this. This is the actual brain of the robot. It came put together, but you'll see that you have to take it apart. So I'm going to pop this apart real quick. Maybe. There we go. And there's a special um, film on the bottom. This is like if you ever got a new iPad or something, you peel that film off the screen. I'll just peel that off. And then, look in the instructions right here. You see this little guy? This is the Bluetooth control. This is how it's going to connect to an iPad or whatever we use to program it. So here's the Bluetooth. Notice, I thought this was interesting. It's packaged with this little piece of foam. What do you think the purpose of this is? Look at this. So we take this off. And look at those little connectors there. What would happen if those bent? Do you think the robot would still work? Or will we have a problem? So that, I think that's why it's in that special protector there. Oops, and that just fell apart on me, but that's okay. This is the control board. This is where all the smarts are, the brains. And this pops right on. And it goes this way. This is going to be the Bluetooth. This is going to help us um, make the robot talk to the Bluetooth controller when we start programming. So I'll pop that on there, making sure that they go in the holes. And there it is. It's got the Bluetooth controller, and I'm ready to pop the top back on it, make sure it lines up this way, and the other side. And then once I screw it together, actually, I think I'm going to, it goes this way. Yeah, it's going to go like this, and those four holes in the corners are going to pop on those studs like this. So I'm going to find the right screws, and I'm going to screw that on. And now I'm ready to put it all together. This goes on the studs like this with these little, um, the little stubby screws go right through there. And we have the batteries, we have the power. So I need four AA batteries. I'm gonna pop in here and I'm gonna put this underneath oops, the brain, the controls. And I'm going to screw that all together. And I'm finishing the last screw here. Tighten, make sure they're all good and tight. And I think they are. So the last thing I have to do is plug everything in. 
So I've got two like this. Notice there's actually one, two, three, four connections. I have to make sure looking at the book that these are plugged into the correct slots. Why do you think that's important? What would happen if I got the slots mixed up? Think about that. And then my little ones, my little white ones, there's only two slots for those, but they're also numbered one and two. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right there. M1 and M2. I'm going to plop those in. And there's one thing left to do, and that is the power. This is the, this runs through the battery. Can y'all see that? So I'll pop that in here in the back. If I've done everything correctly, we should be ready to go. So let's see what happens when I put the power on. <gasps> it's got power. It's got lights. It makes some sounds. Next step will be programming our happy little robot and we'll do that next week think about what movements you think he could do what should i program him to do think about that leave me comments see you next week